after this we have the polar curves and this curves are known as cardioid so the equation of cardioid is r equal to a 1 plus cos theta and this is the polar equation so r equal to a 1 plus cos theta represents a heart where the tip of the heart will be on the positive x-axis so remember whenever we have 1 plus cos theta say this is our heart then this tip of the heart will be here so our curve will be on the positive side of the x-axis it is not a perfectly heart but similar to heart okay so what will be this length this length will be 2a this length will be a and this length will also be a and theta here will be 0 and here will be pi that is length of this curve is starting from this point and it is going till here so theta is 0 to pi so this is r equal to a 1 plus cos theta then we have the equation r equal to a 1 minus cos theta so we have 1 minus sign so this tip of the heart will be on the negative side of the x-axis so this curve will be something like this okay so here this part will be 2a and this point will be minus 2a comma 0 this will be a this will also be a so these are the two cardioids after that we have the curve similar to cardioid which is known as lima con so lima con curve is similar to cardioid but this tip is displaced on the positive side of the y-axis so this curve will be starting from this point so this curve is something like this this tip is not at the origin but here it is on the positive x-axis and the equation of lima con is r equal to a plus b cos theta okay so this is our lima con after that we have the curves known as cycloids so the equation of cycloids is represented in polar form as x equal to a theta plus sine theta and y equal to a 1 minus cos theta so this curve x equal to a into theta plus sine theta and y equal to a 1 minus cos theta is something like this this point will be pi and this point will be minus pi and this is 0 so this is cycloid then we have x equal to a theta plus sine theta and y equal to a 1 plus cos theta so whenever we have both the terms plus the curve is something like this okay so this point will be minus pi this point will be pi and when we have both the terms negative that is x equal to a theta minus sine theta and y equal to a 1 minus cos theta when both are negative the curve will be displaced from the origin okay so this point will be 0 and this will be 2 pi why 2 pi because the total interval is pi and minus pi total 2 pi similarly here so it will start from here and it will go till here okay then we have x equal to a theta minus sine theta y equal to a 1 plus cos theta similar to this curve but it will be displaced here this point will be 0 and this point will be 2 pi and this point will be pi here also it will be pi so these are the basic cycloids so this is it for the curves just remember the four rules which i have taught you and you can draw the any curves uh, more curves i have covered in the problems of multiple integration so please refer to that videos and this is it for the curves more such modules we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures